Once upon a time, in the city of Manhattan, there was a place called the Black Pearl, a restaurant run by three different owners. Sleepy, a.k.a. Brian, was the one who never talked. I just asked Brian, he's like, yeah, well, you guys can figure it out. Come we on, always thanks. figure it out. Dopey, or Greg, could never make a decision. That's why I sometimes waffle and go back and forth. And Grumpy was David, who was arrogant and defensive. Gordon, the fucking truth is that yes. I'm back there when it's busy every fucking night that I work. It didn't take long for Chef Ramsay to realize this was no fairy tale. This is not going to be a good thing. <laughs> My name is Steven, so if you need anything, just let me know. Thank you. I like your enthusiasm, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> While Gordon was pleased with the service, the food was just the opposite. Horrible. It's like eating a fucking wet diaper. That night, during dinner service, the customers agreed with Chef Ramsay. The food was inedible. I believe this baby rule. <laughs> I need an order of fried shrimp. This one was undercooked. I'll take this bag. Gordon quickly realized that one of Black Pearl's biggest problems was the quality of the food. What do you smell, Phil? It smells old. You seem a very relaxed man with your restaurant. What do you want me to do? I disagree. It doesn't smell bad to me, the fish. I've just I... given a piece to your chef. Yeah. The piece was stinking. It wasn't stinking. You're blind, my friend. Well, if you're not blind, you're fucking clueless. You know that. But that was just the beginning. Gordon discovered that the restaurant's main lobster was a fraud. They look Canadian lobsters to me. Yeah, these are Canadian. Yeah. They're not Maine lobsters. You tell me about the passion with the Maine lobster. Are you aware that the lobsters in your fridge are Canadian? Same water as North Atlantic waters. Tell me, is it a different animal? Maine mm -hmm. is a Canadian lobster for you. Amartus Americanus, same animal, right? They're not from Maine. Well, it comes from the same vendor. Holy shit. The next day, a staff meeting quickly disintegrated into another battle between Gordon and David. David, why haven't we got aprons? They know where the aprons are, they just don't choose to wear them. But why can't you say it's policy to be in an apron? Cat, it's policy for you not to have a drink here after your shift, but you often do. David, show the girls some respect, will you? In front of everybody, why can't you answer the fucking question? I thought I did answer the question. Do you know what I've just discovered? Mm. You're so full of fucking shit, you'd make a great politician, you know that. Confused by three different directions from three different owners, Gordon suggested a staff vote, and they elected Greg as the general manager. I'd definitely like to give it a shot, for sure. With a new leader in charge, Gordon went ahead with his plan to give the Black Pearl a complete facelift. You ready? Yeah. Let's go. Oh, my God. <laughs> Everything is uniform. Oh, wow. Much better. But Grumpy David was not impressed. David, what do you think? The column should be yellow. <laughs> in order to add some excitement in the dining room, Gordon shipped in an appropriate surprise. Now, I promise you, you'll never find another machine anywhere like this in New York. And David, I promise you now, this is from Maine. <laughs> <laughs> of course, if they catch it, they eat it. Does it blow me away now?